In this video, we're going to go through the entire campaign setup process from start to finish so you know how to set up a campaign from scratch step by step. I assume that you're already up and running on Thrive and that you have offers and landing pages that you want to run ready to go. This video goes over the basics of a complete campaign setup. For supplemental tutorials on other parts of the system, please go over our other videos in detail. Let's begin by clicking Create Campaign. By default, Thrive fills the campaign name with its own campaign ID. You can edit the name to be whatever you like. For traffic source, select the source that this campaign will run on. If you haven't added the source to Thrive yet, click Add New Traffic Source. For this example, let's add Facebook as a traffic source. If you have questions on setting up traffic sources, please see our video on traffic sources. Campaign type is simply a organizational feature to identify the type of campaign, for example, pop under, pop up, mobile, etc. This campaign is going to be a 300 by 250 banner. Put in a default CPC for now to assign cost to each click. You can adjust this feature as you get a better idea of what your clicks cost as you run more and more traffic. You can also adjust costs retroactively via our cost update feature. Campaign tags are useful in running reports. For example, maybe this is a mobile dating campaign. Then I can create two tags. First, mobile. And second, dating. And assign those tags to this campaign. Later on, when I want to run reports for all of mobile or all of dating, I can select a tag instead of picking individual campaigns one by one. Custom tokens are hard-coded values you can pass to your landing page. Don't worry about this for now. The redirect method can be adjusted if you want this campaign to have a different redirect mode than the system default. You can set redirect modes for different types of traffic. Lastly, the postback pixels you most likely will not need. This is only if you need to track conversions on your traffic source and they only give you a campaign-specific postback or pixel. We can skip this. Next, we'll set up the campaign's rotations. Thrive gives you the option to either create a new set of rotations for this campaign or use a set of rotations that you have previously created. Each set of rotations you create will be used in multiple campaigns. A rotation is simply a collection of paths consisting of landing pages and offers. Each set of rotations you create can be used in multiple campaigns, so when you edit those rotations, the changes can be applied to multiple campaigns. This is a feature and is totally optional. And if you want each campaign to have its own rotation, that's perfectly fine too. Just create a new rotation every time. In this case, this rotation is only going to be used for this campaign, so we're going to have the rotation name be the same as our campaign name. Rotation group is just an organizational feature. Groups exist and thrive for rotations, offers, and landing pages and they act as folders so you can organize your items very easily. Let's add a landing page to the rotation. Since the landing page you want to use isn't in Thrive yet, let's click New LP to add it to Thrive. Let's name the landing page, select the LP group, then we need the landing page code for our landing page, so click Get LP Code. What we need is the standard landing page click-through tracking code. We're going to use the PHP version since our file is a PHP file. This is the href code that I need. I'm going to copy that and edit our landing page. I've got my click-through text here and I'm going to link it to this. And then end tag after the text. Let's save this landing page. Now I'm going to enter the URL of the landing page. So this is wherever I've uploaded my landing page that I just saved. Lastly, the default offer is the offer that your visitors should be sent to if they landed on your landing page organically. You should always select the default offer to never lose any traffic. Then let's add the landing page to Thrive. And now that it's added to Thrive, we can look for it and add it to our campaign. Next, let's add an offer to our campaign. Click Add Offers. Likewise, since we haven't added our offer to Thrive yet, we're going to click New Offer. 
type in an offer name, select an offer group. You can also select an affiliate network, which is optional. Enter the default payout per conversion for this offer. Then you'll need the offer URL. You may own your own offer, or you may get your offer from an affiliate network. Your affiliate network has their own software, and the most popular ones are Has Offers and Cake. For this example, we're going to be using a ClickBooth offer as an example, and they use Cake. So we're here in our network's interface, and we're going to find our offer URL. After clicking into the offer, we need to be on the Creatives tab. Here's where you can grab your affiliate links for your offer. We're going to paste an offer link into Thrive. By default, Cake offer links normally end with the S1 variable, but we need to send our click sub IDs to S2 instead, so we're going to edit from S1 to S2. This is something we need to do that's specific to Cake offer URLs. Then, we're going to be sending our Thrive click sub IDs to their S2 variable, so we're going to be placing our token for sub ID at the end of S2 here. Then click Create. Now let's find our offer that we just added to Thrive. And we're going to be adding it to a landing page. You can also add to direct linking as well to split test whether your landing page performs better than sending your traffic direct to the offer. Let's click Add Selected to Rotation. OK, as you can see, we now have our landing page in the rotation and our offer underneath it. We're now ready to create the campaign. And our campaign is now ready to receive traffic. What you need to do now to send traffic to this campaign is use this URL in your traffic source when you create a campaign. In this case, when you create a corresponding Facebook campaign, link it to this URL. In order to test whether this campaign is working properly, Thrive has a testing module for you to send test clicks and conversions. If you click this link here, it will send a test click and not a real click. So let's try and make sure our campaign is working. OK, so it went to the correct landing page. Now let's see if it goes to the correct offer. And it did. Now let's check back to the campaign test counter. Let's refresh our stats. And as you can see, the campaign test counter went from 0 to 1 click. So we know tracking is working. Before we finish, we need to add the Thrive Postback URL to Cake for real-time conversion tracking. To grab the postback, we go to the tracking section. Copy the postback. And let's go back to ClickBooth's Cake interface. Now we need to be on the Testing and Tracking tab of our offer. Where is this postback URL? Paste this in. For the sub ID variable, since we're passing our Thrive sub IDs to their S2 variable, we need the corresponding S2 token, which we have on the left here. And we'll put this token after the sub ID variable in our postback. For more on conversion tracking to track multiple steps or upsells, please refer to our posts on that topic. For now, let's click Save in Cake. And you're all set ready to go. Now just launch the campaign and watch the metrics roll in.